Hey guys, what is up? It's me here, J Pineapple, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Builder Figure Mandroid Wave Captain America The Winter Soldier Black Widow. It's me, J So yes, I got this on eBay for, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you guys the price, but it was pretty, it was okay, alright? <laughs> alright, so anyway, um, this is pretty much what is inside the packaging, is an alternate head, a couple hands, a gun, and the mandroid torso. I'm happy to have this figure, I'm very happy that I got this on eBay, uh, I cannot find it anywhere else. So, yeah, anyway, on the side it does show... Captain America, Captain America, has a Marvel Legends Infinite Series logo right there, Black Widow, and Hasbro, Captain America the Winter Soldier wave right there, and it shows Captain America's shield, and build a figure mandroid, and warning, don't show to your Black Widow, and uh, ages 4 plus. On the back, shows Black Widow, uh, it does show the Mandroid build figure and all the other figures in the wave. I still do not have the agents of Hydra or Soldiers of AIM. So, and it does have a bio, if you guys do want to read it, pause right now. Alright, let's just get to it and crack this thing open and see how awesome Black Widow actually is. Good. All right, everything is outside of the packaging. So, an Android piece. Nice. We got Black Widow, and she does have an alternate head. That was pretty easy to pop out. And that's the. Uh, it does look like Scarlett Johansson, and it looks really nice, actually. All right. Well, I guess I'll just have a little play around with this thing, and then I'll get back to you guys with the review. So, yeah. And here, the, here is the figure out of the packaging, and I do have to say, I love this figure. Man, I have loved this figure just from opening it. Like, seriously, that head sculpt is just dead on Scarlett Johansson. It's, it's a really nice figure, guys. It actually does have a really nice representation of the actor. And the whole, like, body mold is just really good. The feet kind of annoy me, but that's pretty much the only complaint I have. Besides the fact that, uh, I'm sorry if I misled you with this gun. She does not come with this gun. This is a separate gun I got from Red Skull from this wave. So, uh, that's where, that's where I got that gun from. And, uh, yeah, this person, I sh uh, this figure, I should say, <laughs> not, well, it is a person, but, um, this action figure comes with two head sculpts, so this is the Avengers hairdo, if you guys do want to see that, and she does come with this alternate head sculpt, which does actually look pretty nice anyway, so if you guys can see, you know, it still has a really nice resemblance of Scarlett Johansson, but I prefer this one, because I want to have it with my Avengers, and uh, this is awesome, I love this figure, so uh, yeah, let's just get into details, uh, the head sculpt we're going to go on, um, it's awesome the way they painted this. I love it. Uh, I love the hair. The way they did the hair is lovely. They put some nice shading inside of it. And it looks nice. And the face looks nice too. It has good eyebrows. Nice, nicely painted eyes. I do think sometimes they paint the pupils really weirdly. But this one's not that bad. I mean, like, compared to some other figures I've had, it's not really that bad. Uh, looking on the sides here, you know, you can see, you know, that shield logo is painted pretty well. I love the different types of textures inside this figure too. Look at that other shield logo there. You know, still painted nicely, you know. Nice gauntlets. You know, even this, like, zipper has some nice, um, you know, silver paint on it, which looks really nice too. And uh, if you go have a look down here, you know, painted really nice. 
It's got some nice texture inside of it too. So yeah, this is just a really nice figure overall, guys. And molded guns, which I hate. And having them on the back, you know. Overall, it's just a really nice figure. I just love this figure. Um, yeah, anyway, that's pretty much it for details. Articulation-wise, you know, the head is on a ball joint, so it just goes side to side. And it goes down and up. This head sculpt is a lot more articulated than uh, the other head sculpt, which I forgot where I put it. Oh, it's right behind her. Uh, the other head sculpt has like rotation side to side barely and uh, it goes down more than it does go up so yeah that's the other head sculpt but I do prefer this one which has the more articulation. Anyway it um, the shoulders are on ball hinge joints which are uh, going to just go all the way around swivel goes outwards like that no bicep swivel which is okay it does have a single hinged elbow which I really don't like but anyway it does have a swivel and it does only have a swivel at the hands no hinge which kind of annoys me but I, I guess this um, isn't that bad considering it's small hands um, reference to Shannon's Prime uh, also it does have a diaphragm joint which goes side to side uh, I can just go all the way around you know and it does pivot side to side and it does have an ab crunch forward and back no waist swivel, but um, the legs can go forward that much. It can go back about, not very much, but like that. It goes outwards. It does have a thigh swivel. Double jointed knees, which go in like that far, which is actually pretty good. And then ankles move down, up, and it does have the ankle pivot. So, would I recommend this figure? I would definitely recommend this figure to finish off your Avengers collection for the Avengers Age of Ultron, for Avengers or whatever. You know, I would definitely recommend this figure. Just uh, get a figure with lots of guns and then you'll be set. Alright, that's my review. And if you guys do want to know, she also comes with the Mandroid Torso, which I've already completed. Stay tuned to the review. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my review of Black Widow from Captain America the Winter Soldier. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, Jay Pineapple signing off.